Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And if for more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel in Val 33 Tarot, which is read for you as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling your current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. One more. Okay. What's going on with this? Um, Okay, Sagittarius, <laughs> jumping into this right away, what you are showing me, there's a lot going on. You got, in a sense, you have a lot on your plate to take care of and kind of oversee. And with what everything you got going on, you're ultimately showing me that with the way things are progressing, which is quite interesting, um, there is this overall energy of stability, possibly a living situation, not too sure. But overall, it seems like things financially are definitely going very well for you. It seems like there is some type of financial endeavor that is working out. And it is making you very happy and very fulfilled. Now, at the same time, with whatever is going on, um, it almost seems like things do take a bit of a turn. And I'm not too sure what this is about. Some sort of, I'm going to say, possible collateral damage is taking place. I don't exactly know what this is about because it just seems out of the blue. Um, but you, what's fascinating is you are definitely wanting to kind of be fair and neutral about how things are moving forward, even though this is taking place. I don't exactly know what is going on, but I, I feel like in a sense, I'm getting two energies of one person is in their corner and the other person is in their corner and something is going on clearly between the two of you, but I don't know what is going on. Cause you're showing me, it almost seems like nothing's going on. There's some sort of stoppage of movement of some sort of progression or flow or possible what you're wanting to create for yourself. I don't exactly know, but there you are showing up definitely, well, trying to keep the peace as well as create the peace within this overall situation. And it seems unfortunately that things are actually digressing and not necessarily moving forward in a way that it's meant to. Now, of course, I feel like with whatever that collateral possible damage may have been, um, whether it's between you and someone or whether it's something financial, I don't exactly know. There also is a connection here showing up which is fascinating. So you have a connection with someone, but I'm not too sure if they're, you know, where they are or who they are, because you're showing me there are a lot of financial, let's just say investments and commitments in this overall situation. And that is why you need to make a decision as to how to best move forward with all this. Okay. I'm a little bit like, um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. So let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers and see what I can find. It's almost like even shocking to me to where I'm like, I don't know what to say. Because it seems like everything was like A-OK -okay, and then it's just something, something.
Okay. I kind of feel like you're in this overall energy of spring cleaning. But what's fascinating about this is um, <laughs> you're, you're not too sure. It's like, I feel like you are removing or shifting something in your situation, but you're not too sure exactly what you want to do moving forward from that point. Like, you know, you kind of have to, you know, take care of something here. Mm. That's what I was wondering. There, there's something here that you're not, I feel like, in total agreement with yourself on. But at the same time, you, you are you are kind of being kind of cool about this. And that's what's interesting. Um don't know not too sure on that one like i said you're, you're leaving me with not much to say today i'm like hmm which is fascinating you're, you're being very what's that called coy but yeah whatever this is you you seem happy so i'm a little curious as to what's going on Okay. Um, I feel, how do I say this? Um, It's interesting. You're kind of showing me this image of a um, big fish in a small pond. Like you feel a little bit restricted or trapped or stuck. Um, like you've outgrown something or you possibly outgrown someone. Hmm. It almost, it almost feels like whatever this is that's taking place, you're just like kind of wanting to be done with something. You're kind of like, nah. It's like I said, it feels like big fish, small pond. You're just kind of like, I've outgrown this again. You're just kind of emphasizing that. It's like, nah. Not in, you're kind of showing me like, you're not impressed. Everything kind of seems and feels the same. But again, you are making peace with things. <laughs> okay. Let's see, yeah, I'm not too sure what this is about. It almost looks like you're looking for bigger opportunities or possibly even looking for bigger fish. I don't know why there's like the messages of fish going on, but. Yeah, it's almost like with things going the way they are, you're just kind of waiting for things kind of, uh, once I called, uh, turn around in your favor here. And that's what's fascinating is there is that connection there. And I'm not too sure if this is between you and someone or you and, I don't know. I don't exactly know. Okay. Well, whatever this connection is, there's a little bit of anxiety and worry about this, about what to do moving forward. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea here, Sagittarius. But ultimately what you're saying at the end of this is, you have definitely a heavy decision to make. Um, and I feel like, yeah, it's just a matter of, are you 100% on board with what decision you're going to make? I don't exactly know. 
So, of course, well, I guess we'll see. If you are dealing with anyone, we do have showing up. Of course, you, Sagittarius, we also have Gemini, Libra, Virgo. Aquarius, Leo, and that is all. Goodbye.